Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we happened to finish up our task in the fort that we were in, and now we have to go deal with uh, some caves here. No, a uh, tomb here in order to get a, wand, a scepter for some information. Unfortunately, a uh, spirit got angry and we have to commit, perform a ceremony, hence why we're in these ceremony caves. Ceremony waiting room. Not very pleased about all this. Oh, there's a vampire of. Oh no, that's an. Okay, I gotta reload here. Thought maybe I could go in there normally, but I was wrong. Okay. There goes the Aranea. And we're good. That wasn't too bad. This stone was not finished. All it says is, Here lies Buri. Okay. Ceremony waiting room. Why are there even wizards in here? Hey, that one's dead. That was a bit of a bother. Okay, we'll deal with that in a bit. This corridor has an enormous amount of blood. Whatever is in that corridor, it can't be good. Proceed with caution. You walk past some trees in a garden. There's something strange about them, though. The first tree has dark yellow leaves, the second a heavenly blue sort of color, the third light yellow, and the other, and the fourth an other sort of blue. You've never seen anything like it. It's quite weird to look at. Hmm, nothing in here. A sling. Why a sling of all things? There's nothing in these rooms. Unless there's a hidden passage. Aha! I was right. This book doesn't look like anything particularly special. It's not a spell book, that's for sure. Could read it anyhow. Read it. You begin reading. This book only contains notes as far as you can see. However, there's something interesting here. I finally managed to understand how to open the gate. First I should go into the rooms on my left, then the ones on my right. I actually follow the dials of a clock. Interesting. First the rooms on the left, then the rooms on the right. Okay. I'm not gonna go through there right now. Ah, spirits. And other ones dead. Body preparation chambers. Ceremony preparation chambers. Let's take a look at the body preparation chambers. Because, of course, they're zombies. Why would they not be? In this room, once bodies were cleaned as to prepare them for the burying ritual. It looks though as if some of the bodies weren't going to rest. Yeah, nothing of note in here. In this chamber, tombs were made. Some tombs are still standing along the walls. Also, the descriptions to be put on the tombs were made here. Some undead didn't want to stay in their sarcophagi sarcophagus, though. They would rather attack you. Okay. Nothing of note there. Oh! 
Tombs of the Lost Souls. Beware. Authorized personnel only. actually be something over here. Alright, ceremony preparation chambers. You sit in front of a slightly off blue pool of strange liquid. Dark yellow. dials of a clock. Alright, I think I see what I do. Okay. Touch it. When you just touch the water, it starts glowing. Apparently you made the, new, the right choice. A new power settles in your body. Same thing there. Right choice again, and... The gate in opens in front of you. That water did something to you, which enabled you to open the gate. At least that's what you think. This is confirmed when a voice says, You are properly prepared. Pass. This teleporter will probably bring you to the ceremony halls. You want to go in? Well, I want to save first. Also, Draco should probably drink, uh... Drink an elixir. All right, let's go in. Enter the teleporter. You step into the portal. You see lovely colors all around you until everything becomes black again. You are there. This is the altar where you are probably supposed to perform the ritual. You feel an urge to kneel. Do you? Kneel. You kneel down. A powerful force starts getting up from your knees to your legs and eventually fills your body. You start screaming from pain. A few moments later, everything calms down. The altar is glowing faintly. After a few minutes of re moments of resting, the peace and quiet is heavily disturbed by a voice. You did the ceremony. The shade of Dakrach lets you go free. Now go away, I've got a splitting headache. Go away. Well, that was honestly very simple. I expected more. I expected there would be something there, but, appear but it appears that I was wrong. Okay. Light, please. Thank you. I'm gonna go see if that spirit is still there or not. We did your ceremony. Can we go now? Yes, you may go. However, before you go, could you perhaps tell me about life outside? Life outside? Yeah, you know, the birds and the flowers. Outside is in your world. I'm locked up in this godforsaken place all day, I never see the sunshine. Tell him about life outside. The spirit listens carefully. He clearly is very interested in your story. When you are finished, he thanks you. Thank you. It is long ago that I saw the sun. 
I might go out for a bit some other time, you know. You may go now if you wish. Can we know, by the way, how you died? What? The spirit seems truly perplexed by this question. Well, of course, if you want to. We asked so, didn't we? Now tell the story. Yeah, yeah, coming there. A long time ago, I was a knight. Not just any knight, no. I was quite famous, and people seemed to like me. However, when I had taken the scepters you stole from me, I was cursed. You nod. Being cursed is a logical explanation. The spirit continues. The curse was quite deadly in hindsight. I was dead in less than a week. Didn't anybody do anything about that curse? My family was devastated, of course, but I wouldn't let them get a mage or priest. I thought it was all right. It wasn't. You thank him for this short story and leave. Well, that's a story that happened. <laughs> All right. Now, first light, and then... Is there anything here? There is not. Thought there might be. Big empty area. Look like... Oh! Oh, that's the way out. Okay. Did not intend for that to happen, but we're good. All right. Let's go turn in this quest and the fake scepter as well. This way, around this way, and into here. Now let's see. You. Uh, this is the scepter you asked us to bring you. When you find, when you tell him you got the wand, he stands up and grabs the wand out of your hands. Finally! He walks to a closet and takes a reddish piece of paper out of it. He teaches you the spell written on it. Now, you will be able to get to Thralny's castle. I wish you good luck. After saying this, he takes the paper and sits down at the table. What information did you have for us? I already gave it to you. Now go. Okay, so... Destroy the Sinarti origin. Okay. We still need to go under the fort, though, I think. Also, there must be someone who can teach us things, who can identify things that we can sell things to. No, he's not there. Now that I think about it, maybe you could, uh... I guess he can't, despite being an antique collector. Maybe one of these people? Yes, this Monard. No, he just sells potions. You. We do have things we can sell. Set the ring. Sword, sword, bow, armor, armor. We need those gauntlets identified. I can't remember who we speak to for identification. I think it may have been someone in the other town. Not there. Actually, yes. Can you... Not you. You don't identify. No, that wasn't it. I honestly cannot remember who identifies things. The Temple of Pleasantville is left deserted. The daughter, who previously was supposed to look after this holy place, is no more. She left, like so many others in this town. Really? Yeah, we could, but no. I cannot remember who identifies things. Fa, ah, fine. Anyway, let's head back down. Back to the Sonority and take a look in this cave underneath. 
There's probably more things we need to find under there. Things to deal with and such. you to enter it. There we go. Alright, let's investigate here. This is some sort of a subterranean cavern. You feel homely here. It reminds you of Avernum. You start to walk. You wonder what you'll find at the end of the road. You don't know what might be here. Given the fact that you came here through the fort of the biggest enemy of Riveron, you suspect these caverns aren't very safe. It may be better to return when you found some clue or reason to come here. Okay, I guess we're not going there now. This plot is a very is a little railroady, but okay. still wish there was some way to open these gates so we don't have to go all the way around this way all the time. This is kind of annoying after all. Fine. And I know there's some path over here that I noticed. But we can't get in. Yeah, we found this path over here, but we can't get in for some reason. I don't know why. Some sort of hut up there, but... I wonder if there was someone who identified things out in Flanagan. School of Majory? No, that's an apprentice. You. You cast spells. Which we could improve some of, but. Some of these spells can get pretty damn powerful. Maybe we should. Yeah, we should, I think. And... Unshackle mine. Alright, so I guess where we need to go is into the castle of Thralny. No, not Thralny. What was his name again? Wait, was it Thralny? I mean, I know Thralny's the creator, but... Yeah, it is Thralny Castle. I wonder if there's any relation to the orb of Thralny. You say the spell. At first, nothing happens. Soon, however, do you hear a voice. Did you really think you could give me a fake scepter? Your death lies here! Then several monsters appear. The voice returns after the monsters are summoned. It says, If you survive this, bring me the real scepter and the real spell will be yours. For now, have fun with my pets. Immediately after that, you feel drained. Okay, probably shouldn't have done that then. Gotta enter combat. Oh yeah, we can survive this. Yeah, 
throw that there. It'll do some damage. Okay, they are surrounding us a little, which is a bit of a bother. Right, some healing. And there we go. Okay, let's go uh, give him that real scepter then. So much for uh, doing that. Okay. Your spell didn't work, I'm afraid. He laughs at you with an evil grin. <laughs> of course not. Do you think I'm so naive to let you give me a false scepter? I demand that you give me the right one now. Um... I mean, I would, but you didn't give it to me. Did you maybe give us the spell, or...? Maybe he gave us a spell, and it didn't say anything? You say the words Menthol taught you. The gate opened in front of your noses. Okay, it just didn't say that he gave it to us. Alright, let's look through the castle entry gate here, which is... Very abandoned, it really, in all sense. Like, oh, hello, rats! I mean, they're weak rats. Aside from the poison one. Yeah, this castle... This is not before, whatever, it looks really abandoned. Nothing but rats here. Okay, and there's Castle Thralny. Oh, that that doesn't look ominous at all. Well, you know what? Um, I'll let this episode be a bit short. Next episode, we'll investigate Castle Thralny here and see if we can find our way in. That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.